we are. We're um, just outside the Liverpool Street Station. And, um, yeah, we believe we're at the scene, uh, at the crime scene. Uh, we're not far from RBS. We're not far from HSBC. And we know that these people have plundered the economy. We know that these people basically uh, demanded a huge bailout from the public purse. And we've all paid. Some of us have paid with our jobs. Some of us have paid with our homes. Some of us have paid by getting into debt on credit cards, etc. And yet this week we hear that a thousand of these people in the city of London, the bankers, are to be given million pound bonuses. And there is nothing that this government is going to do about it. So, welcome to the crime scene. Welcome to the city of London. I think we could say that we're also on Benefit Street. There's a lot of um, media furore about this programme, Benefit Street. And yet, if you look at how much is spent on benefits and how much has been spent on bailing out the banks, you'll find that how much is spent on benefits pales into insignificance. I think it's a 180 billion that we've given to the banks. And it's an absolute scandal that they've got away with it. And they've got away with it because their friends in the media and the politicians have protected a tiny elite, a tiny parasitical elite in the city at the moment are talking about how to um, make the multinationals pay taxes or how to make the banks uh, not rip the country off. So Ed Miliband's come up with this idea of breaking the banks up and attempting to um, not pay bonuses. But they failed. They failed on these issues. They failed over six years. And one of the reasons is, is you cannot control what you don't own. And in the trade unionist and socialist coalition, we are raising the whole question of nationalisation. There are people out there that probably think the only option they've got is to vote Labour. But if you look at what Labour have done, they've cascaded the bankers' cuts. They passed on the cuts to their own working class communities like mine, where 700 jobs now have been cut for our local young people where people like myself lost my job, not at the hands of a Tory council, but a Labour council. And this could be repeated up and down the country, and therefore the ideological block that exists, which is the Lib Lab Con, that we should pay for the crisis, has got to be broken. And we have to challenge this consensus. In May we have an opportunity to do that. No concession to UKIP, to the, the racist right, but raising the idea of that workers you get, you to get on in order for your family to get on. We would suggest rather than working 80 hours a week and doing everything that the boss asks of us, that we rediscover the ideas of the past and we retie the knot of history. How did our foremothers and fathers get free education, get public education? It was through struggling through the trade unions and through the social leadership is looking to field uh, over 600 uh, candidates. This film is not just a description of perhaps your life, a reflection of what's going on, but is a blunt question to you to consider standing for the trade unionist and socialist coalition.